Welcome to the morning offering, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Hey, y'all. Welcome to your morning offering. My name is Father Brad Doyle, and today is Tuesday, September 17th of the 24th week in Ordinary Time. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart and union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You might have noticed that we're moving in daily Mass through the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Pretty important letter. Uh, all the letters are important, but uh, this one's pretty famous for one reason. Every wedding you go to, you hear love is patient, love is kind. Maybe not every wedding, but a lot of them. And uh, we're about to get there. But before we do, Paul lays out his theology of the body. Not John Paul II's theology of the body. But Paul's, which is the theology of the body of Christ, we hear in 1 Corinthians. Now the body is not a single part, but many. Now you are Christ's body, and individually parts of it are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, do all work mighty deeds, do all have gifts of healing, do all speak in tongues, do all interpret. Now what Paul's laying out is something called charisms, or gifts. We all have charisms. Um, they're a gift of God. They're a mission. They're given to us to live out, but not everyone has the same charism, right? He says, uh, are all apostles? No, not all are apostles. Some are called to be bishops. Do all have prophecy? No, I, I don't have prophecy. I know there's a lot of really holy people that have that charism, that have that gift, or healing is another one. Now, a couple of years ago, uh, you probably heard this word. My high schoolers, I teach sophomores in, um, in the youth group, and they kept saying riz. Now, riz is like, uh, it's like being smooth, right? And it actually comes from, they, they inform me, it comes from charismatic or charisma. Someone who's smooth, he can talk well, have good conversations, draws people's in. They say, you have riz. And, and so I, I told them, they didn't know this. I'm like, guys, that has connections to the early church. The apostles in the upper room received the gift of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. The Holy Spirit came down upon them and they received their riz, if you will, their charism, and then they went out to preach, to prophesy, to be apostles. Right? Everyone has a different riz or everyone has a different charism. Not everyone is the same. Let us understand our own charisms. What are we good at? What are we called to do? What gift has God given us? And then today, live into it. This has been your reflection for today. If you like what you're hearing and if it's helpful for you to pray every day in this way, to start off in prayer, you can go to morningoffering.com and sign up. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Morning Offering is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.